everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Monique if you're new to this channel I upload videos weekly about style and travel so I recently went to Italy for the first time I don't know what took me so long to go to Italy because maybe I think all the time I go to Europe I want to go to Paris Italy was just amazing it was amazing food is so good shopping is so good everything is so good the only thing that was bad is that because I went in July and it was hot it was insanely hot we had a heat wave and it was just unbearable but other than that everything is so gorgeous i mean i went to florence and then venice and then rome so florence is hands down my favorite out of the three uh, rome is also beautiful I, think I didn't really want to go there at first but i'm glad i did even though it was only for like two three full days because um, it is also as beautiful and good shopping there Venice is insanely insanely amazing as much as it is so beautiful the tourist amount is just insane and it's just not really enjoyable to be there I would love to go to Florence again one day though because I honestly thought I didn't spend enough time exploring the city because the first two three days I was feeling under the weather um, I have a little Italy haul for you this is some of the things that I purchased from the local stores in Italy. I also purchased quite a few of like antique jewelry pieces. If you want to check that out, let me know in the comment section down below and maybe I'll film a video for that as well. Before we go into the haul, I have a few tips that I would like to share with you for uh, shopping in Italy. Number one, forget shopping before your Italy trip because it was summer and you know we were going to beautiful places in Italy I, I really wanted to have cute outfits for picture and just you know just to have that vacation mode forget about that but do not go out there and try to shop for your trip because shopping in Italy is amazing and it is definitely much cheaper than the US and they have amazing beautiful things and they are the master of creating clothes from linen or summer clothes they are amazing and it is very affordable number two of course uh, shop local explore areas that are in your city local areas Florence for example is so full of artisans I wish I had more times to explore all this cute little shops and yeah just go and explore a lot of them might not even have an online presence so you just have to go walk around and explore and you know come across cute little shops number three of course research tiktoks and vlogs and youtube before you go to make sure you have some sort of a guideline of you know shops or markets that you want to see but do not rely 100 percent on that because whatever is hyped up on tiktok doesn't mean that it is as great in real life it's just because it's hyped up and it went viral on tiktok so there are so many other places that the locals would prefer to go as opposed to just people tourists you know seeing that place from tiktok for in terms of shopping designer brands in italy for italian brands if you have nothing specific that you want to purchase from a brand let's say gucci bottega veneta or ferragamo you have nothing really you know specific that you're looking for wait until the day of your departure to shop and shop at the airport because when you shop outside in the in the stores in the city they will give you 12 percent tax back vat which is great but if you shop in the airport the price is already reduced so it's not including the tax and it is 22 percent cheaper than the retail price so you are buying items for much cheaper than you're buying it outside even though you get vat outside so those are my four tips for shopping in italy let me know in the comment section down below if you have any more tips now let's go on to the haul so as mentioned before these are just beautiful little things that i purchased from local shops in italy some are from florence some are from venice and some are from rome so the first one i bought this two soaps in italy actually i bought more soaps but i have given them to friends and family and these are the two that i have left 
I'm sure you can find these in the US as well, probably, but I had space and it is much cheaper there, so why not? These are great gifts. Of course, Florence is known for leather. I was trying to go to the local shops that has the cute um, leather bags, but I didn't really have enough time to do so. Uh, I didn't want to shop in one of those like outdoor markets that a lot of people say you know it's good for leather because most of the time it is not good uh, the one that is like outside in the stalls like that looks like a flea market those leather over there is actually not good because uh, they're not really good leather and they're really most of the time is not actually local um, they're imported from other countries and they're not good quality at all so I avoid shopping there it's better to shop in the stores, you know, some local small stores that you come across. Uh, I purchased a few things, but I gave them out as gifts already, so I can't really show you them to you. But this is what I have left in terms of leather. This is such a cute uh, pen uh, case. This is for your pen. I think this is adorable, and I love the Flor de Lis embossed on the front, and that is the logo for Florence. That is actually, I think, the logo of the Medici family, which was the ruling family in Florence back in the day, and they were the richest family back then. I love the color. I think it's super cute. And I think something like that was around 15 euro, if not 12 euro. So it's really affordable. The next thing I got is this crocodile skin card wallet. It's so cute. They come in many, many colors and they're just adorable great for gifts as well in florence we also visited the oldest perfumery i think in the world probably because yes it it was established in 1221 i went in there really hoping that i would find a perfume that i love but unfortunately i didn't really love their fragrances i just didn't really like the way they smell on my skin but i did purchase their original product which uh, started the whole brand which was the rose water the rose water is amazing I purchased two of these they're quite heavy but we did have space in our suitcase this was also very affordable if I'm not mistaken this was probably around 25 euros or something like that definitely very affordable because I was thinking it will be like 50 or something so it comes in a glass bottle. I love when things comes in glass bottle. It smells so good. If you love rose fragrance, this smells amazing. I think this is supposed to be a toner for your face, but I'm just gonna use it all over my body. I think it's so such a beautiful scent. I think I also have Santa Maria Novella in Soho, so I'm pretty sure they probably have these as well. And when I was in Florence, Rajiv Surrender, which I love on YouTube and Instagram, if you haven't seen videos of Rajiv, please, please do check out his YouTube. He used to make so many videos for HGTV, all like DIY, all this beautiful, like he is a very skillful man. He could paint with chalk, he can watercolor paint, he can sculpt he can he can do anything i love his videos and he was in florence as well so i was literally stalking his instagram and he went to this book binding place is alberto cozy and they are a family business which has been around for forever and they are very skilled book binders and they also make of course books um notebooks that we had to purchase some my husband purchased this small one here and I have this one here in the medium size because I like a bigger note and I want to journal more. It is such a beautiful book. It smells amazing. The leather is beautiful. It reminds me of the Togo leather from Hermes. While you're there, uh, you can also have your initial embossed and I added 5 euros to have the Fleur de Lis embossed on my my notebook i love it it's so soft it's so beautiful i think this was maybe around 40 euro and then the smaller one is around 25 euro so it's really beautiful books really affordable considering if you go to hermes i think a book cover is around 
200 euros or something next is from venice we didn't really purchase a lot of things from venice we only had one full day we visited the grand theater it was such a beautiful theater unfortunately they didn't have any shows the time that we were there but we were able to see how the theater looks like inside it's just so gorgeous and my husband purchased this hat i think it's such an adorable hat it's cute great for summer and i got this t-shirt this is the only kind of tourist t-shirt that i got from this italian trip and i love that it's not obvious that this is like a tourist t-shirt and it is also organic cotton it's such a soft cotton i love love this it's something that is subtle it doesn't really say venice rome or you know or florence on it i love it so i also purchased this from this cute little shop we purchased another doll for my niece over there in the shape of a gondola man it's so adorable because everything was made by hand and for me i purchased this one this has lavender inside so it smells really really good i wanted to purchase more of these these are all hand painted and handmade it is so cute and adorable they come in variety of colors and i think they are like 10 euros each which is really affordable and this is like such a great like memento it's not like a magnet that says venice but this reminds me of my trip to venice every time i look at it now we'll move on to the clothes uh, most are purchased from rome uh, i think one or two were purchased in venice or in uh, florence but most of them are purchased from rome so let's go with the clothes. I told you there's so many linen clothes and cotton clothes in the local shops over there in Rome. This is one of them. I went to Nina Loc. And then another one that we went to is Compo de Fiore. So they're kind of like across each other in Rome. So you can just look them uh, You can just look up their address on Google Map. Uh, it's, it's a cute little store. Everything is made in Florence, but they have a store in Rome. But I purchased this linen um, maxi dress in this color green. I love how chic the Italians are in the summer. They look so chic in their linen outfits. So I wanted to dress like them as well. I also purchased this cotton short sleeves shirt. It's more a boxy cut and it is a little bit of cropped. So I think this is a good layering piece as well when I'm wearing blazer or something like that. I like to have something that is short sleeves so that's easier to wear but you can also wear it on its own. I also purchased this linen um, shirt with the Stolman sleeves. I have worn this a few times and it is super comfortable. The linen is very very soft. Another linen top is this green top which i thought i was gonna wear with the green maxi skirt but i think it was a little bit too much worn together so i'm gonna have to wear this with something else but again the linen is very soft and very easy to wear in the summer also got this beige linen pants these are also very comfortable i've worn this a few times it's so comfortable in the summer love 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 these my husband also purchased a few pieces he got this black linen pants because he doesn't really have a lot of like linen pieces in his wardrobe and he got another piece from this store paul taylor the store is super adorable it reminds me of brunello cuccinelli but it's like a much more affordable um brand so if you know Laura Piana and Brunello, they both are from Italy. So the Italians really know how to make yeah, summer clothes, really, really chic clothes. Uh, he got this shirt from that store. I think it's so chic, but so easy to wear in the summer. All of the pieces that I just showed you, I don't think any of them were above 50 euros. So it is really affordable to shop the clothing there for example this cotton shirt is 31.50 so it is the same price as if you go to uniqlo uh this one is a dress a linen caftan that i purchased in florence from this store floor it's a really cute store i love the blue color of this linen 
It's also very comfortable. I wore this when we were in the south of France. It is so comfortable in the heat wave. Love, love, love this. Very easy to wear. Last but not least is from this cute little store in Venice. I forgot the name of the store. I think it was Linda something. I will, I will write it down if I find it on Google map. Uh, but I got this white shirt from there. Really, really thin cotton, kind of like pop. It's really, really thin cotton and really, really soft. She was also wearing this shirt but in more of the bone color and I saw this one and I think it was like around 30 or 35 euros because she was having a sale. It's a cute little local shop. It's so adorable. Really, really comfortable. It has this detailing on the top. You can never have enough white shirts. I almost forgot, last but not least, when we were in Venice, of course, we had to get something that is made out of the Murano glass and I found this guys to be really really affordable I was looking at pieces that are similar to this at the Dior website like last year and I just thought they were super adorable but of course the Dior website was probably more than 10 times the price of what we paid for these these were I think around 15 euros or 25 euros I can't remember one has a sunflower in the middle because my husband loves sunflower and I chose this one which is grape and I think it's so adorable love love this and they survived the trip that we did so that concludes the haul of the items that I got from the local shops in Italy I will link the vlogs and the other haul videos from uh, our Euro trip in the description box below so you can check them out Please like and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!